The First Amendment to the U.S. Constitution grants citizens five freedoms. One Iowa State student exercised one of these freedoms this week with a petition, a petition that would have financial impacts on the campus newspaper. Iowa State University is a land-grant university with a renowned agriculture program, and I think our publications should reflect that. Caitlin Kaler expressed opposition in particular to an opinion article in the Iowa State Daily, written by Angela Lawson. I was a little concerned after reading some articles published in the Daily, and I wanted to correct the misinformation I read. I felt it was my responsibility. The article expressed Lawson's opinion of the livestock industry, particularly swine practices. Emily Barsky, editor-in-chief of the Iowa State Daily, said Lawson's article fit the criteria for the Daily's opinion section. One thing that's important to note about the opinion section is that the opinions stated are that of the columnists or the editorial board or the um, specific letter writer or group and not of the newspaper as an organization. What was stated in Lawson's column it meets our criteria and we wouldn't run something if it didn't meet our criteria. While I understand that there are plenty of people on this campus that may disagree with, with her opinion um, and they have every right to do so and we encourage them to voice those disagreements, I feel that she did her due diligence in reporting um, in her column. Kayla's decision to start the petition came after attempted responses to the article on social media. So the petition that I started was to start the dialogue. I reached out to the Daily multiple times uh, via email and social media with no response. But we did not know anything about her letter until the petition yesterday. We, what ended up happening, and we'll take full responsibility for this, is that um, when Caitlin reached out to us with her letter, she did so via post posting on our Facebook wall, tweeting at us, and um, emailing an email that uh, we don't check that was listed on our website. That we do have a submission letter form, which um, is not the, the route that she chose for her letter, which is our specified route. However, we fully understand um, her concerns in not having her letter heard. Kaler's petition, supported by over 900 people, proposes College of Ag and Life Science students shouldn't have to pay for publications that misrepresented facts. I decided that the petition was going to be the only the next thing that would hopefully be more effective to creating the dialogue. Agriculture students want the facts to be represented in our publications. We are a land-grant university. We do fund part of the Iowa State Daily. I do recognize that they have funds coming from other sponsors, but part of, their, part of them is funded by students. And we want College of Agriculture and Life Science. They teach us that we need to speak up and make sure that the right information is being told to our consumers. Barsky's concern about the petition isn't the topic being discussed, but rather the effects proposed by the petition. Taking away funds from a newspaper because of uh, opinions differing from yours is really uh, detrimental to our democracy and freedom of speech and freedom of press. It was my responsibility to have my opinion heard as well and to not get a response it felt like they were ignoring my opinion. Communication between Kaler and the Iowa State Daily will be continuing in the future. Along with Laurel Feeks, I'm Jared Calvert, ISU-TV.